And welcome back to Take Action News, everybody. David Schuster here along with Dr. Digipol on Twitter, Alan Rosenblatt, Dr. Alan Rosenblatt. Alan, how are you doing this weekend? I'm doing really well, David. How are you? I'm doing fine. So, Alan, in our social media segment leading off, uh, a lot of people on Twitter over the past a couple of days have noticed uh, controversy involving the hashtag UniteBlue or at UniteBlue. Explain what that is all about and, and why it's so important. Well, first of all, one of the big reasons why it's so important is, you know, everybody seems to be buying into using it as a way to unite the left. And my understanding is even the president has tweeted uh, using the hashtag. Uh, for me, this goes back, it converges two different stories. Uh, it goes back to the early days uh, of, of, of Twitter and politics where there was some question over whether the conservatives were doing a better job or the liberals were doing a better job. Uh, there was a, a hashtag that was launched early on called TCOT, Top Conservatives on Twitter. It remains one of the most po popular Twitter hashtags out there. Uh, in response to this, I launched a hashtag several years ago called Top Prague as an alternative Top Progressives on Twitter. Uh, that lasted for a little while and then um, uh, John Pincus and a few others launched a hashtag called uh, P2 which of course was fewer characters which is good and really t started pulling the left together. After that, uh, about a year or so or two after that, uh, a, a tweeter by the name of Eileen Left, uh, E-I-L-E-E-N left launched a hashtag connect the left or uh, pound C connect the left or pound ctl she trademarked it she created a, a website called connecttheleft.org and she was really taking it to the next level trying to combine uh, the, the 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 left into a much more uh, unified force on on twitter uh, around the same time and it's unclear in terms of ownership and this is really the big issue uh, so this guy uh, who goes by the name of Saith Simon on Twitter uh, st started managing or, or was using a, a Twitter account at Connect the Left. Now, there's a debate over who actually owns this. He claims that he created the account, and she claims that she created the account, and he was caretaking it while she was dealing with her son's battle with cancer. Uh, in this process, though, um, he apparently decided it was his uh, and ended up selling it for $250 to uh, Zach Green, who has a Twitter handle and a Twitter consulting firm called At 140 Elect. Uh, he, he changed the name of the account to uh, Unite Blue, launched the Unite Blue hashtag, and has gotten lots of people to register with him so that he's actually collecting all these big uh, tw Twitter names. Now, the, 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 the big thing is, apparently he says he was organizing this in order to combat uh, what's going on on the right, which is the Twitter Gulag Defense Network or the hashtag TGDN. And this is a group of people, far-right people, led by um, uh, or loosely formed by a the former executive director of the South Carolina uh, GOP uh, Republican Party, Todd Kincannon, um, to uh, orchestrate campaigns to shut down progressive Twitter accounts by using uh, Twitter's uh, uh, algorithm for spam. Basically, if a, if, if a bunch of people uh, flag you for spamming uh, and you have fewer than 3,000 followers, Twitter has an automated process that will suspend your account. And so they were targeting people on the left who were launching these accounts um, by organizing uh, through the TGDN hashtag to get this whole network of right-wing tweeters to uh, click uh, report as spam the uh, these people they disagreed with politically. And of course, uh, you know, it creates this whole process. So uh, when you go to the Unite Blue website, you know, there's all this advice from Zach Green about how you're supposed to, how you can combat this. Don't engage anybody that's using the TGDN hashtag. Uh, um, uh, you know, here's how the, uh, the, the process of the spam blocking works and all this kind of stuff. And now there's this back and forth between is Unite Blue doing it back to TGDN? Is TGDN targeting Unite Blue people? And all of that. But underlying this whole thing is the concern of just who is, uh, you know, who is Zach Green? How did he get the Connect Left? Did Simon have the rights to sell it to him, or was it actually, you know, a, tr a squat on a trademark that Eileen Left owns? And also, 
um, you know, to what extent is Zach Green building up an email, a Twitter list that he's then leveraging for his consulting practice? Mm. Uh, you know, we've mentioned earlier in discussions of Change.org uh, that everybody who was signing Change.org petitions were going into Change.org's email list as well as into the campaign email list, and Change.org was making those was marketing other campaigns to those e email lists. So they were making money off of what people thought were signing up for. Uh, progressive cause and now that change.org has sort of moved its way and opened the door towards doing a uh, um, work with uh, uh, conservatives including as Daniel just re was reporting on uh, they uh, change.org is doing a campaign with fix the debt uh, there uh, there is this concern with you know just where do these people's loyalties lie are they true movement people or are they just trying to make a buck 